Welcome back to The Pin Man. I'm Mike Wes, and today's special guest is the Lamy Safari. These are the new, the newest of the Safari lines. You have the uh, Terra, some call it red, some call it orange, as well as the Savannah Green. Now here's what's cool about these, these two special editions. The Lamy Safari was introduced in 1980, and the first three colors that uh, Lamy produced for the Safari line was, you got it, a terracotta orange and a savannah green but and then they also had the charcoal black and now they're reintroducing that color again and i was i was really glad i got i got both of them simply because i couldn't make up my mind which one i wanted so i just bit the bullet and ordered both of them ordered one in a fine one in a medium and we will show you those how those uh, perform in the writing samples. Okay, so let's take a look at the uh, dimensions, the measurements of the pin, as well as uh, some size comparisons and writing samples. Finally, the Lamy uh, Special Editions, the newest, uh, newest special editions have come out. The Lamy Terra and the Lamy Savannah. So it would be the Savannah Green or the Terra Orange Red, whatever you want to call it. It is more orange, but uh, you can call it a red uh, too, I guess. But comes in its typical box here. So you're not paying for packaging, it's basic packaging. Open it up and you have the uh, warranty information. There's no instructions, just a little warranty slip there. That aside and pull that out. Then you have the pin on the sleeve. Take that off and there you go. So here you have the the savannah or the terra and here you have the savannah all right i i really i really like the, uh, the color combinations here the uh, i'm as i i think i mentioned before i really like earth tone colors and uh and this, uh, the green and the, or the, the Savannah green and the Terra orange, I just, I couldn't decide which one, as I mentioned earlier, I, which one I like better. So I, I bought one of each. And I think Lamy did a, an excellent job of doing this color combination. You got the black and it just works, works well with the earth, with the earth tones. Okay, so you have the, uh, the black clip and the clip is let's see I'm going to try and do this I'm, I'm looking at the camera <laughs> at the screen if you've ever tried doing this you, you understand okay so the clip is is springy enough there looks like it'll hold tight the here is a picture of the finials and I've got some still shots of the finials and so forth on the other on the other side there, your typical, the, the black X there, whatever that's supposed to mean. And then just, it's all just really basic uh, stuff, but it's, uh, it's very nice. Okay, so these two pins, open them up and, oops. See if I can get that back lined up right. I did. Okay, sorry, I had some caps. You know how it is when you have some pins that, that are snap caps and others that are screw-on. 
they uh, sometimes they, they can trick us. All right, so you know, that and the black nibs really set this off too. Now the pins, both of them came with a Lamy cartridge and I rarely use, in fact, I never use. I haven't used except since the first, uh, the Quaco Sport, first fountain pen, manufactured fountain pen that I've used. Uh, I've never used the, uh, the cartridges, but I, for the uh, ink or the writing comparison, I went ahead and put the cartridges in. So it's Lamy Blue, so the pen comes with that. It does not come with a converter, unfortunately. You have to buy that separately, which I went ahead and did. All right. Now, depending on how you screw this, uh, the body back on, the Lamy logo may come on top. It may not. So if that's a thing for you, which it is kind of for me, so I'd sit here and fiddle with it if I had the time, but I'm not going to bore you with, with that. All right. How about some size comparisons? All right, here we have the Terra, Lamy Terra, and then the Metropolitan, Pilot Metropolitan, the Diplomat Magnum, the Pilot 823, uh, Custom 823, and just for the fun of it, I threw in a Koiko Skyline Sport. I think it's the Skyline Sport, anyway. And we, here we have them uncapped. And as I said, I like to... Uh, and here they are. Straighten that out. Here they are posted. As you can see, there's quite a, uh, quite a difference in the, in the sizes. I find the, uh, the, the Lamy, when using it posted, and of course I don't use mine posted but there's a good reason I would not def I would definitely not use this one posted if you if you notice where the the uh, cap runs on my knuckle here that that would just that would just irritate me to no end if I was riding for very long but uncapped there's plenty of room back here and so it would write well uncapped the facets it only has two facets if you flip it over there you can see on the bottom side it's just it's just round and so i i think that's great that it doesn't have this uh, a third facet there because i think that would that would not be that would not be comfortable uh to me uh you got the you have the ink window there so you can see all the, the, the level. My only, <laughs> if, it's just a little thing. It's just a little thing, but I don't know if you can see just a little tip of the inside. One of these little walls there. You gotta kinda tighten it and maybe it'll tighten over time. Maybe the uh, gasket will kinda shrink, not shrink, but have a little more give over time but uh, it doesn't you just tighten a little tighter and you can't you can't see it so again not not an issue now the windows both sides they're open so you cannot use this as a uh, eyedropper uh, type of pen but it is a it is a comfortable when i when i use it i i like the extra size it's not a thin pen so if if you like the thinner touch, I think you would be fine uh, with the because of the facets. It does bring your fingers in a little closer. But if you like a, a little more girth in your pens, uh, the the Lamy Safari does an excellent job there. I you know I I like this. I like this pen. I'm glad I got it. Some people I I know one reviewer actually called it a trash pen. I hardly think that this is a trash pen especially for the price under $30 around $30 so get them while while they last I went ahead and grabbed them while uh, so that they didn't run out like the petrols did <laughs> and now for a writing sample we, we will start with the Terra and it has a fine nib so Let's see, let's move this down a little bit here. 
Okay, so here we have the Ami Terra, if you want to call it a Terra Cate. There you go. Okay, fine nib. And we are using, as I mentioned, Lamy Blue. Okay, let's see. How about uh, some line variation? Doot, 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 doot. You can get some out of there. Although it's kind of not a real pleasant. Pleasant writing there. Okay, let's see. Writing increases. Brain power. Let's see, some fast scribble. Okay, has some good flow. I have there was no skipping or anything as you can tell though, from when I first started writing, it did get a little bit lighter. Now, granted it is, it is kind of breezy out here. All right, so, but a, a basically a fine, if I was looking for a fine uh, line pen, that's, this would, this would work just right. The, the, uh, you know you're writing with fine, fine nib. It feels like it's, it's not rough at all. Uh, there is some feedback, but it's, you know, It'd be like a pencil, so it's not, it really isn't that bad. I'm just trying to scribble here. Okay. Let's go then to the Savannah Green. And let's see, make sure I get this on there. It looks like it will go on there. So we have the Lamy. On the Savannah, and we are using a medium, and again, Lamy Blue. Okay. Uh, line variation, <clears throat> it'd be about the same. You can definitely get some. The medium obviously would have a smoother uh, writing touch to it, and it is nice. All right, writing increases brain power again. Uh, let's see, ink flow. About the same as the fine, but you you do get you get do get a difference in the line. There's not a whole lot of difference I don't see between the fine and the medium. There's the medium. He kind of looks a little mad, doesn't he? I don't know. Smiley's looking mad, not so happy. Let's see if we can improve upon that. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay. <laughs> All righty. There you go. There's your writing sample. All right. Thanks again for tuning in to The Pin Man. I really appreciate uh, your, your watching. And again, I hope that these have been a help to you. If they are, Please subscribe to the channel. If, the, if you like the video, like it. Any kind of comments that you would like to put 
submit, go ahead and do that too. I encourage you to check out a couple of other videos here that might be helpful as well. All right, thanks a lot. Have a great day.